What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Dita, your favorite Dita, and I am back to do House of the Dragon. This is a new series on the channel. I'm going to have my girls Mochilla, and I'm going to have my girl Tiffany down here, and we're going to chop it up about the, we're going to give you a recap and a review of the episode. So this is going to be a weekly thing, so look forward to it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and let's get on into it. So first of all, ladies, I just want to get your opinions on your overall, however you want to go with just your first impressions of House of the Dragon, um, episode one. Okay. Um, so far, so good. It, it exceeded my expectations. Uh, I think I was telling you offline that I was trying to manage my expectations and proceed with caution because as much as I love Game of Thrones, I was... I wasn't as happy about the last season like a lot of people and things. So I was just like, okay, please let them do right by this series, especially because I'm a Daenerys fan as well. Right. So um, I was I was pleasantly um, not I don't want to say surprised. I, I was um, I was satisfied with the first episode. Great, right, great, right, great. Right. Mochi, your overall my overall I was satisfied. Cause I, mm -hmm. I, I didn't want to set my expectations too high, like Tiffany, and be disappointed. But it was, it was great. It was, it, it had, it had the fighting, it had drama. Mm -hmm. We know who the, the who the uh, menaces is already, <laughs> and I, I, I'm just into it. I'm just into it, and and we know who the underdog is. So I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I want to hear who you think is the underdog. I want to say it's a uh, Rhaenyra, the, 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 the daughter, because they don't want her to be in charge. Yeah. She's the underdog of this, and I want to see if she sits on that throne. Right, right. Because he's already jockeying for position, the brother. Oh, Damon. Damon, and I don't want to go too far ahead. I'm not going to put on my track shoes, but we starting to see we starting to see it brewing. She's definitely... And, and, it's, uh, and then you got... I, we was me and Nita was talking about this last night. We wanted to see who's gonna be the character like Littlefinger, and we haven't seen it yet, except for that little thing with the father. High tower, the tower is a lot like a uh, uh, Littlefinger. Yeah, the the one that sent his daughter. Yes. That's why I think it's a bit of it, but he's not as uh, how can I say it? He's not. He's not as cunning as as Littlefinger's character. We don't right? know that yet. We don't know that yet, though. <laughs> That's true. But he's with the whole protect. Like, uh, he's he's already in the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's making sure he's he's making sure he's um securing his position. I should say. Okay. Yeah, I saw a little bit of Littlefinger tendencies in there, but I liken him more to Tywin. He um. What he's doing is in the self interest of his family and stuff like that. You remember that's how Tywin used to mm -hmm. kind of go putting people in position, saying you're going to marry this person, and and that's exactly what he was doing. Yeah. And that's why I didn't want to say he was like Littlefinger yet, yeah. because he seemed more calculating. More, right. you know, why? Littlefinger you know why? calculated, but he just you know how he oh he get on your nerve. <laughs> you know why? You know why I say he's a little bit like Littlefinger and stuff because. That, you know, and I, I, I'm sorry if I'm jumping out of order, Nita, you know, because I know you probably, I was going to say, um, when he went back and he told the king that Damon said that about the heir for the day, he kind of took it out of context. He did say it, but that is not the way he really meant it. Mm -hmm. So, and I think he knew yeah. that yeah. it was out of context. So that was, that was manipulation. He manipulated that situation with the king. And that's why I said he's a little like little finger because yeah. you yeah. know the whole thing in Game of Thrones started because of little finger, you know, yep. because he, because he lied and, and he said the dagger and this and the other. And this dude is kind of maybe yeah. he hasn't gone that far yet, but he, but there's a big implication. Thing, though. He, he told Damon, you know, he he went back and snitched on Damon, and then he told um the king something he said but he took it out of context so now the king is enraged and has banished him like you so yeah so he, he already started a conflict so that's why it reminds me of um little thing little bit of okay. i gotta, wasn't i feel like i needed to see more for some reason we are gonna see more this is just we the are episode. yeah he, he already, i just wanted he to see more where i could be like he just like this mother father <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. yeah, you don't see because and you look at the I was saying to Nita offline, the trailers for the um the series, like the girls, Allison and Veneer, they are so tight now. But Damn. when you look at the trailers, they're not gonna be tight anymore. Oh, yeah, so it's, change. It, it's getting ready to be, and you know, her father may have a hand in that, a yeah. big hand in that. Absolutely. I agree. Right. But in actuality, the thing with Littlefinger, I know we talking about with Littlefinger, that right. started because of of um cat sister. Mm -hmm. She mm -hmm. we didn't even know it because oh. that was all done before everything started. So she actually said everything. He he actually did set everything off from the get go. Yeah, yeah but he, but he was manipulating her because mm -hmm. he wanted cat all along. Mm -hmm. But he knew he was using the sister and everything. That's why I said so. Littlefinger, like he used everybody. He was always manipulating yeah. situations for his own benefit. Mm -hmm. And this guy, you know, high tower. Yeah. And this because he's soft spoken. Yes. Yes. yes, I think he's. You know, and we'll see more. We'll see. But right now, what he's showing me, I'm like, mm. because, you know, and Damon said it to the king. He was like, the people you have in your realm, they, they are using you for their own designs. Yeah. He was telling them, like, he was like, yeah. check your circle. Yep. Check your circle. And, well, and I just finished watching that part, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, you guys, So I pretty much have the same. I lowered my expectations and was pleasantly, pleasantly satisfied, surprised, mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. I really want to say it. I loved it. I thought mm -hmm. um, I thought it did a great job. The only thing I was saying this um, to Tiffany earlier that um, I just wish we had that moment, that that last cliffhanger, like the Game of Thrones pilot, how um, mm -hmm. Jamie pushed Bran out of the window or something like that. I wish we had that moment. But mm -hmm. other than that, I mean, that's that's just a nitpick because the episode was great. Yeah, it was. It was. It was. So we start out with this um this title card. It says it is now the ninth year of King Viserys the First Targaryen reign, a hundred and seventy-two years before the death of the Mad King Ares and the birth of his daughter, Princess Daenerys Targaryen. So this is a hundred and seventy-two years before. So Daenerys. this is so so nobody technically is connected to the Game of Thrones um, well, in a lineage. In, in a lineage, but as far yeah. as like, you know how they mentioned the Mad King? We won't see that. Yeah. No. That, that's what I mean. Mm -mm. Yeah. But we're gonna we were assuming we was going to see that at first. But I did hear that there is going to be some mention to the Starks. So we'll still. We hear. already saw a star. Yeah, and star. We and, saw a star and, 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 in the first episode. Right. And, and a Baratheon. And Baratheon and Lannister. Right. Right. So, yes. So, when, so what was important with me when um, at the end, when everybody was bending the knee to Rhaenyra, they said the High Town. They said um, um, Rickon Stark. They said uh, Baratheon bends the knee. And so yeah, they had a high town. So they had a whole lot of they threw out a whole lot of different um houses out there. So mm -hmm. yeah, so they did, you know, mention Baratheon and Lannister and all that. They stuff. also right. mentioned the other one too, the one Sorry. that um that the the the, the um oh well, that's a Baratheon. Never mind. The one that was torturing everybody. They talked about that. Oh, you talking about Ramsey's um yeah. the Bol Bolton. Yeah, the they, Bolton. they mentioned Bolton too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I didn't see. take notes, but I remember. Okay. I'm, I'm next, you know, next week I'm gonna be on point. Right. <laughs> that was multitasking. I got some. I got some. We good. Um, I love the prologue. What they did, what they were showing, um, Viserys' father and how that came down. And the one line that really stuck out to me was the only thing that could tear down the house of the dragon is itself. Exactly. And so I just love that line. I like. It was just perfect for me. Like that whole introduction, it was just, it was so good. It and so it's good. foreshadowing. It's Absolutely. foreshadowing. <laughs> Absolutely. So, yeah. So, um, there's a king's meet, uh, there's a council meeting. Um, they are, he's putting the cart before the horse. He's actually, the baby hasn't been born yet. We don't know what the baby is. 
and he's trying to have this tourney, this tournament. And um, I thought it was not a good a good idea, but that's what he wanted to do. Um, I don't know. It's something about celebrating before something. It, it feels like it's almost like an omen, especially in writing and when you're actually looking at TV and stuff like that. It always feels like a, a bad omen or something. <laughs> what do y'all think about that? The thing that got me was when the wife said to him, she said, um, you know, she said she's lost like five kids. So yep. she was like, after this, 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 this is it. Like, I can't, yeah. Yeah. like, you know, he had his heart set on having a boy and have this heir and stuff. And when she said that, for me, that was kind of foreshadowing that something was going to happen to her. Right. Right. You remember, Moochie? I was doing a watch party. I said she died. Going yeah, you, exactly. you, you were saying it. You were saying it. Over and over again. Yeah, when she said that, I was like, mm, like she's not going to make it. Not gonna make it. <laughs> yeah, I was like, she's probably not going to make it. Right, right. Um, the the actual thing that she said, um, Emma, she said she lost one baby in the cradle, which um sounds like SIDS to me. Mm -hmm. um, two stillbirths and two pregnancies she lost before you know they came to term. So mm -hmm. she was like five. That's five. Right. And she was like, is this the last time? Let me write down my question for later. She was so she's like, she feels like she failed him. You know, it feels like, you know, back in the day, a woman's job was to produce, was to breathe. And, and that's what it was back then. Yeah. They they fought the wars. We made the babies. Well, yeah. we brought the babies into the world. We can't make them by ourselves, but you know. Right. <laughs> right. And, but, then, and then they still want to be, never mind. <laughs> I'm gonna be quiet. Look, let me put myself back on mute. <laughs> okay, so um, later we move on to Damon and Renera, and they are in the throne room and they're talking in high Valyrian. So I kind of liked it, but I didn't like it because they're like uncle and niece, and but it seems like there's some sexual. Did it didn't seem like it was flirtatious to you? I saw flirtatious. Yeah. Oh, and, no. and I read something about that. I read something about that because their family, I mean, incest is a thing with right. their family. So I think that we can see that coming. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. I definitely saw that. I was like, you know, it was almost like, oh, but yeah, but I see it. Mm -hmm. So, but they have good chemistry or whatever. But luckily, you know, they're going to age this little girl up. So it won't be with the child actress mm -hmm. oh definitely yeah, so it ain't gonna be no time if anything we're gonna just see the after effect like if something happened we're gonna see her walk out of a room yeah. and we're gonna see him probably you know and she look like they did something like i really like that actress she is mm -hmm. she did a phenomenal job and i i kind of mm -hmm. hate to see her have to be replaced because matt smith he's playing his old self and his older self you know what i'm right. saying but I mean, I guess with women, you know. You, you yeah, grow, both, you both actresses. They got young Allison and they have an older Allison too. So both actresses um, have, you know, older actresses portraying them and stuff. So the other one, like you said, Matt Smith is going to play himself as older. Yeah, but I think I, I think he's like 11 or 13 years older than um, Rhaenyra. So, so uh, he was already a grown man anyway. How so old is she? That's why he could play himself. How old is she? He's 12. Oh my god, yeah, she's a baby. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, so but I mean, well, Sansa was like 13 when they got when when she got yeah. into all, yeah. she was actually 12. Yeah, yeah. And 13 when she got, got married to Tyrion, I think. I don't even think she was like a teenager. I think she was I think she might have been 14 by the time she they married her to Tyrion because well, she had, when she got with when she, she had been there for a long time and um yeah, she was there for a couple activity. of years, so you right. Yeah, but I still feel like she was like Oh, she's still a kid. She was yeah, a child. She's still a kid. Yeah, she's still a kid. But she, and, she, and her thinking, her way of thinking, you know. So she, I, she just seems more mature to me. Yeah, for sure. And I think it was probably about the way the mother raised her. You know, she was flying her dragon at the age of seven years old. So wow, he's been, you know, doing the things or whatever. <laughs> but what happened when? The next scene where Allison and Rainier was talking in the God's Wood, they were sitting down, and that was like a little uh, nod to Game of Thrones having the, the weirwood trees with the red leaves and stuff like that. And they were talking. Um, I don't really want to verbatim say what they were saying, but you definitely saw the rebellious spirit that Rainier had 
and Allison is she's very much more traditional and she she accepts the role and you know polit you know being politically correct and you know she's like Sansa. She reminded but, me like Renee reminded me of Daenerys Arya. and also like Arya, you know, because Arya was like, you know, the rebel and stuff. And mm -hmm. um Sansa was like Allison reminds me of Sansa. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. I, I, I feel like she's a combination between Daenerys and Arya. Yeah. 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 I think so. Where you, like, she still could do her lady thing. Yeah. You know, she, Danny, she's, she's going to surprise us. Yeah. I think so, too. She's going to surprise us. And you can see her strength, too, when, um, you know, when they had that funeral. Yes. When she was the one that said, Jakarta's. You know, uh -huh. I was like, oh, so, you know, she's the one that, that gave the command to do that. Yes. And um and I think that was yeah, because he couldn't do it. He couldn't do it. And she stepped up. She stepped up. And the thing is, she could be um, you know, that's why he knew that she was the yeah. right person to name as as the heir, because she, you know, she's already a leader. And right. even, you know, Damon even told him, like, you're weak. <laughs> he was like, You're weak. And the folks in your circle know it, and that's why they prey upon you. Exactly. Exactly. And well, just, they, they they took his kindness for for weakness to me. Yeah, they I did. Think. He was yeah. a very kind person. Yeah, that, yeah. He was trying to. And, I, I tell you, if, if yeah. this one becomes in charge, the, the brother. That's going to be a mess. It's going to be. He's like Joffrey. Right. Mm. He's mm. like Joffrey and yeah. Rick. Look how he was chopping dudes' heads off. They were murderer. <laughs> Just bring the people. I'm like, that's oh. a mess. It was a mess. And that um actually made that last scene like, even more special when he had to apologize and really just kind of like, I'm sorry, I wasted all my years with you wanting a son, making her feel less than and all this. Like that was so touching to me. Like I was just like, oh, I was just like, okay, that's how you do it. That's how you, you know, parents don't like to apologize for nothing, but that yeah. is how you do it. So he did a great job with me with that. Me too. I, I thought the same thing because I was like, he, you know, he basically uh, caused his wife's death, like, you know, <laughs> trying to get the son, like, well, just save the child. And then the son didn't even survive. So I was just like, well, are we sure about that, though? Yeah. Because he, you know, at first, I thought I heard the baby having a hard time breathing. He, it was like, he brought the baby to him. He was like, you have a son. They're known for hiding babies. I'm just saying. Hmm. That's interesting. I, I thought the baby, I thought the baby died. I, I, thought I, I thought the baby died too, but it's just something to think about. I, I, like, it is. I, I mean, I, listen, when you find out to season seven that Jon Snow has. <laughs> so right. who knows? Yeah, so, and then speaking more to the point where Damon was saying that those people are using you because they, we didn't see that. They didn't give us that in this episode. So we don't really know what he's referring to when he's saying it, but we only saw Otto. Otto did definitely, he definitely made a play. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, it sounds like there's something else brewing and going on and stuff. Cause you see Damon, he be sitting up there air hustling. He sitting up there. Y'all, he was right in the back listening to the whole thing. To the whole thing. To the whole back thing. there listening with his big nose. <laughs> <laughs> he was listening to the whole thing. I, I just, you know what? I don't think he was. He wasn't really celebrating King of a Day. I think it was the people that was rallying around him saying that, and they That's were putting I said, the battery in his back. I, what's the call? He was. It was taken out of context, and um, he I, he worked the situation he knew, like he, he said. Knew it. He knew it, and he manipulated that situation with the king to right. cause the rift. Right. But you know what I noticed is I I didn't really hear him say that. I heard him allude to it, but they never showed how it was really the like yeah, I don't think it was the way it was presented to, yeah. to the kids. and they left that out for a reason. That was, it that's right it was intentional yeah so speaking of people doing crazy things to the king or whatever because you know how they do now this um mysterious sword that's on his back I was wanting to say could that be coming from stemming from something that someone has done to him as someone you know, wasn't well, it? I'm like, okay, what is? I was trying to figure it out. I was like, is it leprosy? I was like, what? What is going on here? Or is it because you know, when I was watching a lot of background videos about how they built 
that sword, they were saying, I mean, built that throne. Oh, they're, 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 it's created, yeah, it's created, yeah. And they said that that's why it keeps cutting them. And they said the, the um the gag was that people that kept getting stabbed by the throne, it's supposed to be yeah, it was supposed to be uh, a message saying that you are not fit to be on this throne. Right. Um and so, so that's basically what they're saying. That's the subliminal. That's the subliminal that you know, but I don't know. I feel like that. That sore is something else. I don't know yeah. that it's. I don't know that it's just the the throne doing that. I don't know. It it looks like it's getting worse. It hasn't gone away, and I'm it's just like, coming out of it. That's what I'm saying. It, it that's what I'm like. Is it? He uses some little needle to scoop out. The yeah, head. to scoop the. Ugh, it looks disgusting. Oh. Um, yeah, so I'm just like, mm. yeah. I'm wondering if somebody behind it. It's like you got my. Little, so. Listen, you I, know I, what I was gonna say? Do you remember? I hate doing. I don't want to keep going back to Game of Thrones. What, I think the we people that had the potion that they put the, the on their lips. Remember, they was doing stuff to their blades, so that way, if they cut somebody, it was like not healing. Oh, right, right. Or right. It was or, it was something crazy like that. Listen, you know, I think sometimes we do have to refer to Game of Thrones. Yeah, okay. is, uh, is it too far fetched? It's not. Yeah, it, I think the times, like even when you think about how. Um, you know, Bar Baratheon died. I mean, and how um, dude died that um, John, what's his face, that was going to snitch on Cersei right. and everything. The, um, the hand of the king. Yeah, he, you know, he was poisoned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So and that, that was basically their little method. They, yeah. they would poison people or get them sick to where they die. Yeah, and exactly. And that might have been a calculated move on yeah. who, who's, who's, who's Who calculated it? That's what I'm saying. Whoever benefits the most. The I brother. Know. I think. I I don't trust Hightown or whatever. That's what I was thinking. I, was I don't trust him. Auto, yeah. Well, I, don't, I, don't, I gotta see. I gotta get the names, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Anytime he's sending his daughter, he's gonna send his daughter, right? Yes. yes. Anytime, and then like I said, and he's the one starting the conflict. Yeah, so he's like, stirring the pot too much. So yeah. So I don't trust him. Absolutely. So yeah, I got my good eye on you, Auto. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um. Yeah, Viserys goes to Emma and they talk about the baby. She's in like a milk bath. It looks like trying to, you know, just relax or whatever. They said she's had hard pregnancies. Well, we know that. Mm -hmm. um, she did bring up Damon, though. She brought up Damon and she was like, um, you know, how's he doing being the commander of the city watch or whatever? And then they said, because this attorney, you know, he'll be back. So he's coming back or whatever. And it was funny when they were, when, um, when Rhaenyra and Damon was talking, he was saying that your father is throwing an attorney in my honor. And she was just like, no, it's in the future heir's honor or whatever. So <laughs> you see he has aspirations of being on that throne. And we'll, we'll get into it a little bit later when we have the conversation between Varys and he really made like all of his points known, like all of his grievances. You you got to see a lot more about that in that particular argument, you know, because it felt like he was just trying to keep him, keep himself at bay. He was just doing his thing and all of this. And also, too, y'all, Otto Hightower told him, told Viserys to make your brother the commander of the City Watch. He kept saying that he kept trying to make him go away. And then in that conversation, he resented that. He was just like, you never, we'll get there, we'll get there. But I was like, I'm supposed to be by your side. But what, yeah. He, but said, what he, said, and, and, and he said, you pushing me away. Yeah. But that yeah. was all those decisions. That was him. He convinced him to do that too. So, so he's the master manipulator like Said must be the little thing. So he, he's telling you, you call that's me. What I, said. I was like, he, he like, so little. maybe I don't need to see more, but I do want to see more. Of course, oh, of course. And I think, we, I think we're going to see more. Yes. Um, so yeah, so the next scene we see Damon giving a colorful speech to the gold cloaks, the people of the city watch, and baby, he <laughs> said, King's Landing will learn to fear the color gold. And mm -hmm. crime is no longer acceptable here. And he went on a whole tyrant <laughs> out of control. That scene, Chomping trigger warning, trigger warning, y'all. You might you might want to turn your head when 
after he get that speech, he might just mom. Mm. That was a good scene. I don't care. I like to see the the, the whole rampage. <laughs> you like to see that stuff too. I like to see uh, he was running amok, and I was there for watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was it was definitely good. Had a wheelbarrow at the end with all the parts in it. Oh, what? Yeah. Yeah, it was definitely gory, but listen, that's that's the Game of Thrones way, you know. Yeah. I'm like, man. Yeah, they actually they really doubled down on that. On, you know, I, I that's what I really loved about it. It's because with Game of Thrones, when they started out, it was more of a political game. But mm -hmm. this, we're getting the the battle scenes, we're getting the tourneys, we're getting the, you know, the dragons. So all of the excitement is already happening so fast. And this is only episode one. Mm -hmm. Right, right. We, was, we were seeing stuff like by the time we got to episode four, four, four or five ish, we started seeing stuff, stuff. Right, like, a lot of dialogue. We were seeing this is tidbits and stuff here and there, but now, I'm sorry. Oh no, I'm sorry. I was gonna say, and this is why they didn't respect the Targaryens when I, when we're talking about Cersei and and the Starks and all of them, and how Sansa was showing shade, throwing shade at Daenerys when she met them because. They felt the Targaryens were uncivilized and were savages and stuff because of their way of life and everything. Right. So, um, yeah, you can see the difference between them. I think it's what people wrote in those books. Because remember, they never, they didn't see them. Everybody read the books. Yeah. But the only person that read the books and deciphered everything was Sam out of the whole thing. Because remember, he broke down everything to let to let uh, Jon Snow know that he was the heir to the throne. Yeah. So, it, well, so are we going to have a person like that? The minster? Yeah, that 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 knows everything. I hope it's a person like Sam well, Carter you know that she knows came, everything, reads everything, and, you know. When she came in there with the book, that's what I thought that was. Because at one point when they were showing the wax, I was like, okay, there's the wax for the seal and everything. And when she came in there with the book, I was like, I think the book is that. Like to to record, um, you know, the baby coming, the, 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 the births, the this, that, and the other. And I thought when he sent her in there with the book, that's that was part of what they were supposed to be doing. I okay. thought okay. that makes sense. So, um, again, Mr. Otto Hightower, Hand of the King, is briefing Viserys, the king, about such acts. What all went, you know, he. Putting twenty, well, you can't put twenty on ten on that situation. Damon full blown <laughs> with ham. So, but you know, you see how he keeps on. He, I, I don't know. I don't want to say he takes joy in reporting this stuff, but it feels like it just adds to his case. Like whatever he's building and whatever seeds he's trying to sow, it mm -hmm. feels like that's what it, what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Instigator, like I said, he, yeah. he's giving me little finger vibes yeah. for sure. For sure. And then, um, you know, Damon is sitting there at the table listening to him. He says, um, he said, the prince can't act like that without impunity. And so Damon, he said, the small folk are saying that they, you know, that the streets are lawless and they are terrifying. And he was like, we're here. The city watch is to promote law and order. And so, baby, when I tell you, me, when me and Moochie, I said, look, that look just like the police. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It was the way they was beating people up. Yeah, yeah. They they went crazy out there. Murderer. It was bad. Thief. <laughs> <Take action. laughs> they yo. He was just, and it was just like you would be walking by. He'd be like murderer, and you don't even know if he a murderer. Right. <laughs> he, he, and 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 he was handling them. He was just like taking them out. Like okay, that's what he is. He's a murderer. Right. Right. Damon was going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and in this um scene, we find out that Damon is married. He has a wife. Who's his wife? Lady Ray. And she's from the veil. You remember they kept talking about the veil? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's where he was banished to go back to when mm -hmm. um, you know, Viserys had that. And Otto's wife and uh, Allison's mother has passed. You away. said lady what? Ray. <laughs> I don't see y'all in the cast. Only lady I see, look, and it's a black lady. <laughs> Let me find out he got some chocolate, you know, that he messing with some chocolate. <laughs> no, nah, I don't see it though. I don't think that's her. Um... No, she's not in, she hasn't been in the show just yet. No, nah, I was looking at the full cast. Okay. I was just digging. Go ahead. 
And uh, the Saris lays down the law. He tells Damon, there will be no more performances like that last night that you did. Your actions will be answered. So next time you think you're going to go on a tirade like that, you're going to have to, you're going to have to answer for it or whatever. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So anybody have anything to say about that one? Do y'all believe him? Do you believe? No, I don't believe him. He's going to do what he wants. Exactly. I agree. I don't believe him. He's going to do what he wants and it's going to get worse. Right. He's he's the mad king before the mad king. Right. <laughs> he's the one that, that, that everybody going to live like, I'm going to do like so and so. Yeah, like Makor. Makor before him was the cool um, king. And so they said this is Makor 2.0. So basically, mm. they was like, that's why they don't want him, or, you know, to be the heir to the crown because they already said he going crazy when he went out there. That's when he's like, you have to do something, Sawyer. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so Damon is having a session with a um a lady and mm. he couldn't finish. And mm. pretty much had to like stroke his ego and be like you're mm. this, you're that. Okay, but you know, it was just a nothing burger to me. Do any of you have anything to say about that? Well, anything would be a nothing burger if somebody can't finish. <laughs> right. You look like a little girl. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the woman looked like a little girl when I saw her. She looked like a little girl. Yeah, she did. So that made me think. I was like, hmm. maybe he wasn't turned on. <laughs> oh my hmm. Okay, yeah. so yeah. I think oh. he has eyes for somebody else. Yep. Right for sure. Mm-hmm. And now let me ask you this: Are these two gonna hook up? I think so. You're talking about uh, Renier and Damon. Yes. Yes. Yes, but that's why I said I think he has eyes for someone else. There's he there's does. I, I was gonna Definitely. say it when he was putting the chain around her neck, yeah. And when they was talking, it was just like too much banter back and forth. Listen, and listen. it was like more, it wasn't really sexual, but it was playful banter that you do with like for somebody you like, yeah, flirting, yeah. But they were flirting, mm-hmm. yeah. But um, even her in that conversation. That it showed her maturity. She's 12 years old, and the way she's talking, and you know, it, you really saw. I, I think they did a really good job with the character development and being able to show us a lot with just dialogue and not really beating us over the head, but you just see the thing. So I thought that was great. I thought that was great. So Viserys is um, speaking at the tourney. He announces that Queen Emma was uh, in labor. Mm-hmm. Baby. Mm-hmm. So, then, all right, this is this is another trigger warning, y'all. I'm sorry, it's just gonna be another trigger warning. This battle was brutal. Um, the labor was brutal, and baby, I whew. the baby yeah. was breached. It was breached. The baby was breached, and they had to give her the, the way they cut her. That's usually the emergency C section when they gotta get a baby. That's right, but it didn't look like they gave her anything. Like you know, at least she had poppy seeds. Yeah, so that's what girl. similar to the cocoa. Uh huh. But she still. But was they like, couldn't give her. A, a, they she wanted. They wanted to give her more, but they said it would hurt the baby. Right. So right. she had to go. Like you know, she oh she was oh it was it was brutal. And then she pretty much bled out. Like they killed her. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he pretty much said he said we got to sacrifice one for the other. Right. He told her that. And, and he was like, save the baby. And the baby didn't even survive. Yeah, they didn't have no That's all of that on saving the wife at all. There was no intentions on doing it. No, he and he was like, I love you. <laughs> I was like, wow. He was like, I love you. And then they started strapping her down. I was like, oh my gosh. That, that and was then the scream most- she let out when they, they first cut her. It was bad. Oh my gosh! It was that was, whew. yeah. And you know, know as it, it, go ahead. It was interesting the way they paralleled the fighting scenes and that birth scene because both were, were barbaric. That's right. right. It was barbaric both ends, bad, the fight bad. and the actual birth scene. Yes, it kept that intensity up. Like I was like, yeah. So I yeah, know, so I was like, whew. speaking of that, um, the the um, creator of the show, he was saying that that was a conscious decision that they made to um, to switch back and forth between the tournament and a childbirth 
because he said childbirth is a battlefield for women. And the mother said that when she was um, talking to Rainier after she rode the dragon. And then the tournament, of course, is the battlefield for men or whatever. So mm -hmm. he did address that inside the episode. Did y'all check it out inside the episode? No, it, I didn't. I didn't watch uh, that. I right. just I remember I was going, and I love to watch inside the episode. I used to do it with Game. I of used Thrones to watch it with Game of Thrones, but I I didn't watch it because I wanted to watch it a second time. But I'm gonna I'm gonna see it like next week. Yeah. Point, I Usually I check inside the episode when um when I do on demand, and I watched uh House of Dragon in real time. Oh, okay. so I, you know, so, yeah, so when you, get back watch, it, you can see it. Yeah. Because I think it's a whole 15 minutes added on to the episode. So it was. It was. Yeah, it's really good. Um, the one thing I wanted to say, did y'all notice during attorney, one of the guys that was fighting, I don't know which one, but he came and asked for a favor from the queen who never was. I was like, Yeah, that was terrible how they how they talk about this woman. The queen that never was. It never was. Yeah, I'm like, wow, that's foul. Right. And they caught the shit. And, and, and notice the queen that never was is married to a black man. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm it's just that. saying what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And did you notice he brushed it off? He was just like, um, you know, they're wagging their, their mouths or something like that, letting them wag it or something. Mm -hmm. and I, mm -hmm. like, I don't know. When they mentioned it, when when we when they had the meeting right after everything, well, no, I'm I'm sorry, I don't want to go ahead. When they had the meeting about af everything afterwards, oh yeah, I didn't like the way they, they mentioned her like that. But right, it was kind of bad. Yeah, I was. Oh, I hope I'm not jumping ahead. No, I feel bad for her though, actually. Mm -hmm. um, I did too. I did too. Yeah, but they know. they tried to say like, oh, you using this for a perfect time to try to to, to become. To, like be a part of the throne when she when they said that she could be uh next in line i just didn't like the way they they you know yeah yeah i feel, I feel, I, I, I feel like they talked down to, to uh, they did yeah and then you know i felt bad for her again in the when at the end when viserys actually appoints a female heir and you know that should have been her you know Mm -hmm. You know, so it's just I just felt bad all all the way around. I mm -hmm. guess he figured, look, if we gonna appoint a female mm -hmm. heir, it's gonna be my daughter. Well, mm -hmm. Damon thought he was gonna be <laughs> the heir. He did. He, he did. As soon as he did. found out that that baby died, he thought he was gonna be the heir. Yeah, he was like, oh, no, I'm next, and and Viserys was like, no, 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 no you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. Well, my daughter is, but she's a girl. <laughs> They hate us, don't they? I'm like, golly. So anyway, Damon, um, he enters the tourney thinking he the shit. He's just like walking down and look, that armor was fly. He did look mm -hmm. fly. I was like, mm -hmm. okay, okay. He mm -hmm. came in. He came in doing what he do. He chooses the eldest son of Otto, the hand of the king. And Otto, he's visibly shaken, but he's trying not to kind of, you know, give it up too much. Um, Rainier congratulates her uncle. Damon asks for favor from Allison, and she does. But Otto gave her a disapproving look for doing that. Um, let me see. Anything else y'all want to say about that particular um, thing? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Um, I, I felt Damon like he he fought well, but he was humbled by um, what's his name, Christian? Christian? Yes. Yeah. His name is Sir Christian Cole. Sir Christian Cole. That's what I thought. He was yeah. humble. Yes. He was humble. Yes. And he needed that too as well. He was humble. He, and he needed to be brought back down to reality. Yeah. And he didn't even want to mm -hmm. say I yield. It's like he whispered it. Right. Because he like he got taken mm -hmm. down. Yeah, he did not like that. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. okay, during this time, of course, you know, we're going back and forth between um the the delivery. So she's screaming. She's wailing in pain. The baby is breached. They're trying to turn the baby. She's been giving milk of the poppy the max that they could do. But what if the milk of the poppy had something to do with the baby not making it? Because they might have gave her a bit too much? They no, they don't know. I I think it probably was that. The baby probably was high. <laughs> what do you think, Tim? I think 
I just think, you know, back in that day, you know, the, the technological um, advances and stuff, you know, they they didn't know a lot and everything. So, um, yeah, I didn't. And then without the mother, too, like when she passed, I was like, how are they going to keep this newborn alive? Like, right. Yeah. And birth was a gamble. Well, they if the if yeah. listen if they would have let's say if the baby would have survived, they would have brought somebody in to give it milk. You know they yeah that. probably a servant. A servant they had a servant yeah. that had a baby or somebody that had a baby to bring them in to to, to, to feed yeah. them. That baby would have survived. Yeah. They would have made sure if that baby was living, that baby would have survived. Right. Yeah. Um. It was sad because I was like, he went through all that and. He ended up with neither of them. Right, right. So, yeah, so the maester came and told the father, or the king, rather, that he has to sacrifice one or lose them both. So, but Sarah, he was torn. He was really, really torn. He did not want to do it. Mm -hmm. But um, it was like, he was like, it's a chance we can save the child. And he was like, yeah, we pretty much got to do like a... a, a C-section, a thirteenth-century mm -hmm. C-section. Yes, so I was just like, "Oh man!" So he go ahead and try to save the child um, because he needs an heir. Yep. So yeah, so then we go back to Sir Christian Cole and Prince Damon, and we saw he get humbled. He was humbled, and uh, that scene was brutal. Like the way they was fighting, like that guy, Sir Christian Cole. You need to watch out for him because I think Damon, he thought he was like the Jamie of his era. You know what I'm saying? Like Jamie, the, you know, he was the, the, best fighter, the best fighter and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but Jamie wasn't a good but fighter. Sir Christian Cole actually is. Right. He is. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. He was one of the best until he, he lost his hand. Jamie Lannister was known for being a great fighter. Right. Right. Yeah, that was. that was his whole thing, you know. It was. So when they that's why he, after he lost, right after he lost his hand, that's when um Tyrion got uh what's his face my my other boy <laughs> to Bron. teach him how to how to fight yeah, yeah Bron, Bron. To, to fight with his other hand and stuff but Jamie was that dude yeah that yeah I mean that's the way I saw it yeah he, he was he was I mean, the only he, reason why he had lost that other position of the hand of the um king the king is because he had he had a hand. The king. Yeah, he, he killed him and they called that's why they called him the, the King Slayer. Yeah. Yeah, but he gets he still stabbed him with his back turned. But he explained why, so I get yeah, it. Yeah, he explained yeah, he explained why. I get it. Yeah. So um Viserys tells Emma Emma that he loves her and they pull her down into position. I was like, ooh. And she was like, what's going on? What are y'all doing? What is going on? We were like scrapping her down. I was like, oh my gosh. I said, I know they're not going to do what I think they're going to do. Right. She was frantic. I was just like, oh my God. And I, at, at some point, I'm so glad that they stopped. You, they, you saw her screaming, but you couldn't hear her. Like they took it out. And I was like, I'm so glad they did that because I was like, I was in here like hyperventilating. Like it was just, it was a lot. So, you know. No, it was a lot. It was a lot. <laughs> It really was. Um, so yeah, and so yeah, so Sir Christian Cole got the best of Damon, and that was a huge blow to his ego. Um, then he goes to get favor from the princess. She gives him favor. So you, you see, he's still going back to her, right? Mm -hmm. So um, so Emma is dead, and they congratulate him on his son. He names him Balon. But the baby seemed like he is choking. Like when when the mason was over there holding, him, like saying you got a son. I kept hearing like some gurgling. Like even they didn't clear out mm. his, his lungs or clear out his mouth too much, mm -hmm. or maybe the baby was choking on you know all of the blood. Like she bled out. It was so much blood. Oh, and then, you know they were struggling trying to get him get him out of there and stuff like that. You don't know what the, you don't know. He could have drowned in. Well, he could have drowned in the blood. Yeah. Yeah. Cause like I said, it was a lot. When y'all watch it again, make sure y'all listen to see when he was holding the baby, and then next thing you know, they cut to the scene, and there's a funeral. We know it's for the, the wife, and then we saw the baby because I was like, I thought he lived. We saw the baby too. We saw the little, yeah. was, yes, and it was a little bundle. And think about this, you know, you think about like you know, 
those of us who, who've had children, you know, when you have a, a child in the hospital or whatever, you, you need a sterile environment. Mm -hmm. And you know, you don't know. I mean, back then we don't know exactly <laughs> how how sterile was it. I mean, you think about a newborn baby; their immune system is, you know, it's non-existent. You know, it takes a while to, for a baby to build up its immune system. So it could have gotten an infection. Any any type of thing could have could have happened. Right. You know. Right. And even when trying to pull the baby out, like if they didn't do it right, or if they. Yeah, just yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, uh, it was terrible. It was, it was heartbreaking, and I was just like, yeah, you know, you, you, you put your wife through this, and then you know, to go back to the comment she made about the number of times she yeah. lost children, and at the end of the day, you have a child. You know, you're looking for this heir, but you have a child all along. Right, right. You know, and I was well, like, he, it has. I'm glad he came not been that. putting this type of. Yeah, I'm like, but had he not been putting that type of pressure on his wife or or whatever, you know, they could have accepted what was because he ended up naming her as the heir anyway. And right. had he had that position, taken that position all along, he would have still had his wife. Right. I agree. Right. Yeah. So we cut to the funeral and Rainier, she looks really, really hurt. Like I said, that's a really good actress. I really hope we get at least a couple more uh, episodes with her. I, you know, she's just really good. I think they'll probably talk, it's toggle like back and forth in time. We'll probably still see her. You know, they'll probably toggle back and forth in time. So okay. she's still playing younger and then the older actress. I, yeah. I do. I think they'll keep her. Probably. Yeah, because if they do that, that'll be good. Yeah, because I mean, even mm -hmm. in the posters, like you see in our posters, you know, that's what they're leading with. They're leading with this particular actress right here. So Right. Right. That's why I think it's, she's going to be throughout. I think it's going to be, you know, yeah. shoot, when you think about it, another show, we like, this is us. This you is know, us. what did we see? We saw them as adults. We saw them as teens. We yeah. saw them as kids, you know, and, and we saw those, you know, those actors throughout the series. So I think we'll probably continue to see her, you know, they'll probably go back and forth in time. Okay. Yeah, I, I can see that. I can see that. She was really hurt. Um she actually said to Damon, Damon was like, he really needs you at this, you know, at this time or whatever. And she was like, I wonder for the few hours that her, his son was alive, did he find ha the happiness that he was looking for? You know, mm. I, was like, I was like, oh, I was like, oh. and he was like, um, he needs you. And she said, but I'll never be a son. So she still has that, you know. He's giving her that complex. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because she sees like, I'm here. And you got my mama, you know, now my mom is gone. My brother is gone because you were so pressed. Right. To, to have a son. And so, yeah, so she um, she steps up and she has to, you know, instruct her, her uh, Cyrax. I think that's the name of her um, dragon, the yellow dragon. And she says Jakaris. And it was so reminiscent of Sammy. Yeah. Yeah, the way she said it, like Daenerys. Yeah, like they did like a side by side. And when she did it. and Jukaris. Yeah, I love it. It was such a you know, and that showed her strength as well because she kind of looked like she didn't want to do it or she was hesitant or you know, she was just in pain or something, but she still ended up doing it. So, um, I felt like she was waiting, and then when she saw he couldn't do it, she felt the need to step up. Oh, okay. Okay. right, which is huge since she's you know, she's a child still, right. and at that point, she had not yet been named the heir, exactly. But she stepped up. Let me ask y'all this question. You and Nita, Tip and Nita, do you think because she did that made him make his decision to put her in charge? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I think that helped helped yeah. him see, oh, she ready. Like, yeah. I've been, been looking for it all this time, but and all she the right here, yeah. that I'm looking for, like, she's ready. You know? It made me think about, like, so many of these, these shows we see that, um, that they want the male heir. Like I think, I think about Gladiator because you know, even in Gladiator, the sister was the better choice. Mm -hmm. You know, like ideally, you know, the son wanted to be king and stuff. Yeah, and so I'm seeing, and it's it's similar. That seems to be the thing with a lot of these these shows. You know, especially back in that day, that mm -hmm. they they want to have the man, but a lot of times the the woman, the sister, or the whatever, woman, the mother is, is the better, more choice. capable, right? Yeah. I don't know why they sleep with mm -hmm. women. We 
we bore children, we what? take care of the babies. Why can't we listen, take care of why can't we listen, be ruler of the throne? I think subconsciously they know that's why they keep listen. Like that. They, they do know. They do know. Listen, there's a reason why in the Bible, God said that the women were sent to be the helper, a compliment to, to the men. There's a reason. Yeah. So. So um, next is the council meeting right directly after the funeral. But they said that they think it's pressing. We have to, you know, I'm sorry I had to bring this up during this dark time. But your line of succession is kind of unstable right now. We need to figure out what's going on. I thought that was too soon. It was too soon. And of course, what, where did the conversation end? Because they sitting up there cat fighting, and the next thing you know, he, and he was like, I lost the dope. I lost my wife and son. Yeah, I lost my wife and son. Yeah, and son. He went off. <laughs> yes. As he should. It was too soon for that conversation. It really mm -hmm. was. It really was. Um, basically, what I gather from that, because this is the this is the the conversation that Damon was ear hustling on. So basically, everybody is like against Damon. They were like, he don't need to be nowhere near. <laughs> they did not like him at all. And he was, um, Viserys was like, I can't choose between my brother and my daughter. He said he doesn't want to do it. They was they, they were saying that Damon would end up being the second Magor or Magor um, 2.0. He gets upset with all the back and forth. And he just said his son and wife are dead. And you really didn't get anywhere. You basically just saw, well, Damon just saw how everybody don't like him. <laughs> I was like, I wonder how he processed that. Like, you know, seeing it, like him hearing that, is that why he said that they are all leeches? And you know what I'm saying? Like, could that be a reason why? Because he felt salty because of how they was talking about him, talking bad about him. Could be, but I think it might be the truth to what he's saying, though. I think it's the truth. I agree with Tiff. I feel like it's the truth. He sees that he has his inner circle is not too loyal to him. They have a hidden agenda. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I can't wait to see more of that. So um, I'm definitely looking forward to that. So we move on to this cringy. Allison goes to see her father, Otto. Mm -hmm. um, she's grieving as well. So she was kind of upset because, of course, um, Rainier is upset and so she's upset or whatever and so he comforts her and then he asks her or he tells her to go and comfort Current the time. king. I was like okay. She was like in his quarters? He was like yeah. Yes. I was like oh. <laughs> and then um, no, he sent the baby there to do that to me. Yeah. So, she is, like if she's around the same age as Rainier. Yeah, but remember, they girls used to get married at that age. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They were trying to marry Sansa as soon as her cycle. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they remember were, how she, they, you know, they were like, okay, she had her cycle. We were getting ready. So, she, yeah. Yeah. She was like, oh, no. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah. So, um, the girl on the coffin, he said, go put on one of your mother's dresses. So, yeah. Mm. Yeah, so he has a hidden agenda. Because remember they was talking about, um, Damon was talking about, you haven't been with anybody since your wife. And he got really offended when he said that. He did. He did. So he was, like, really offended, almost ready, like, like those is fighting words. Right. Sort of offended. Right. So he's, he, he's, he's trying to really, him and Damon are already, like, at each other. Right. All in the how it's gonna go, mm -hmm. I don't know. But he but okay, how can I say this? He sends him, he sends her to his room to, to the king. We already know the king has that that sore. But he's technically not dying yet, but he looks weak though. He yeah, mm -hmm. like he's ailing. That's it's what I wanted to ask. Do you feel like mm -hmm. like he's in his last days and he doesn't know it? And I think yeah, the other possible. people know it. That's why they wanted him to pick his innocent. It's possible, his yeah. His, so then that means, Tim, you're somebody's right. plotting. They are right. He, 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 he's probably the one that, that uh, orchestrated all of this because they know he don't have that much time left. And he came there with the purpose of making him pick his next successor. Right, right. And he feels like the Ned Stark of this of this story, like you know. Yeah, I, I do see him like the um, Ned Stark because he seems like, for the most part, 
Um, nice and honorable. That he's, that, honest. He's, that he's a good person, mm -hmm. you know, for and the most part. Yeah, a little bit gullible. A little gullible. Yeah, yeah, he's he's very gullible. <laughs> you know who he, you know who he reminded me of too? Um, the King Rennie from uh, Game of Thrones because remember he, you know he was trying to be, you know I I, I mean he wasn't a bad king but he had you know his sexuality and stuff and everything but i'm just saying i don't think that he was the strongest king either right. as right. far as you no, know being gullible and things too Rennie, Rennie. so this viserys kind of put me in the um frame of mind of, of him a little bit okay okay that's fair so she goes and um she does what he says he she goes to the king's quarters shows up with this book she has a um, uh, her mother's dress on because her shoulders are very apparently out. Um, and then she was just pretty much talking to him because she knew he was grieving. And she said, you know, when my mother died, everybody was talking to me in riddles. And I just wanted somebody to say, I'm sorry for what happened to you. And so right. she just told him, I'm very, very sorry for your loss. So I thought that was a that was a nice moment as well. It was a touching moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm glad that we didn't go there like you know right uh, but it just, seemed like he appreciated her saying that too right absolutely so um damon at this orgy party okay so they go <laughs> <laughs> he goes to get um he rents out the brothel or something for the gold cloaks for you know their services rendered at the of the other night <laughs> mm -hmm. and um he's giving this speech or whatever and I, what I wrote in here, it sounds highly disrespectful, and some may say it's treasonous. But I never heard what he was saying. Like the way he was, it started off sounding like I don't know if I needed more context to it. But the way it sounded, that's what I have written here. I said it sounds highly disrespectful, and some may call it treasonous. Mm -hmm. call, call it, um, his deceased nephew, uh, heir, the heir, uh, heir for a day. Yeah, it was it was inappropriate. I, I'm not going to excuse it at all. You know, it was definitely inappropriate. But I think um, I don't think Hightown meant well by right. carrying that back to the king. Absolutely, he, 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 yeah, he, he clearly, clearly he had, had every, every chance to make Damon look bad. That's yeah, yeah. Key yeah. was so to sow discord, and that's what he did. Absolutely. So um, Viserys, of course, calls Damon into the throne room and questions him about it. And he pretty much was like, how do you put it? He said, we all must mourn in our own way. But what else did y'all hear? Did right. you hear him say, did he deny it or did he? He didn't, but I think he, I think he was trying to say like, I said it, but I didn't really mean yeah, it. Like, like, yeah. like, yeah. it right. That's what I think he was trying to say. Like, yeah, I can't deny that I said it. I did say it. But right. that is not how I meant it. And and that's why I think when he said, you know, we would be mourning our own way, just maybe he was maybe he was trying to say to himself, like I, I was mourning too. That that was my kin as well. You know? So I don't I don't know. It it was inappropriate for him to say, but I really do think that um that High Time was trying to seize the moment there. He yeah. was. He was. He, he absolutely was. was. He and then what Moochie said, it could have been the gold cloaks. Whoever he was saying this speech around, they could have been, you know, it, it made it feel even more inappropriate. Like, you know, like, you know, either applauding or. Yeah, 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 I felt like they was egging him on. I did feel like that. Where, they, they you know were, how somebody eggs you on when you end up talking more than you, you want to mm -hmm. talk? Mm -hmm. And I feel mm -hmm. like that's mm -hmm. what they did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah. So Viserys, of course, he got pissed. He told him. He's always defending him. And he did. Like, even in that council meeting, they was mm -hmm. coming at him and he was like defending him. And he mm -hmm. said, You don't have no allies at court. He said, But instead of being by our side, being with me and Rainera, you're out celebrating, you know, your rise to be mm -hmm. the heir with some whores. So he was mm -hmm. good. He was good. Mm -hmm. Then he would have been right there if it was. If <laughs> You I said what? Period. Period would have been right there celebrating with him. Because <laughs> that's sure. I saw that. I saw that. It was all oh, there. They had the brothel. I was like, yeah, that was Tyrion's spot. Tyrion yeah. would have been right there. 
<laughs> right. Pretty sure that would have, yeah, definitely in his element. Yeah, yeah. So th this particular um, back and forth, Damon is saying that you always sent me away from court, always away from you. You sent me to the veil for marriage. You sent me to the city watch. You've been king for 10 years and not once have you asked me to be your hand. He said, why would I, why would I do that? He said, because I'm your brother. And so we, ba we basically get to see his aspirations and what he wanted and, you know, all of that. But he, but like I said, Otto had orchestrated all that stuff to kind of keep him away because all those things was his decision. I don't know about the marriage now, but I do know about them. He did confess up to the, um, to the city watch, putting him as commander of the city watch. Um, he said he mm -hmm. sees Otto for what he is. And Vercera said an unwavering loyal hand. He said a cunt. I said, oh, mm. all right. <laughs> <laughs> he said- and I he, think he might be right. Right, right, absolutely. Absolutely. I think, I think he may be right. Yeah, yeah. He says he doesn't protect you. And he said, protect you from what? He said, protect you from yourself. You're weak, Viserys. The whole council of leeches know it. And they prey on you with for their own ends. So he, I feel like he's been on his brother as a threat. That's why he kept him far away and his inner circle manipulated the situation to their advantage. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Because they, they you know, they're using Viserys as a puppet. And the thing is, when you when you are the hands of the king, you gotta give it to him straight. <laughs> Whether they want to hear it or not, because their their job is to protect the kingdom, protect the king, and also protect the king from himself, like right, um, right. Damon said. And so the other folks are, you know, yeah, they they are manipulating him. Yeah, definitely. And I, I see it more and more as we're talking through it and stuff like that. I'm I'm seeing it more and more. So he said, "I've decided to name a new heir. Mm -hmm. he said, I'm your heir." He said, "Not anymore." So he said, I order you to return hmm. to Runestone to your lady at once without quarrel by order of your king. So Damon tries to step towards his brother and the king's guard got up, was like, hello. And, yeah, they did. <laughs> and so he leaves. He says, your grace. And he slightly bows and then he leaves. So yes, y'all, that was an intense scene. What do y'all think about it? Moochie? Mm -hmm. With, mm. with this, we're gonna see if it's gonna be some give yeah. back with this. Oh yeah, because I, I, and I, I want to see oh, how yeah. he does it. Because I, I just want to see it's gonna be some give back, and I want to see how he does it. He already has an army. He has the gold cloaks, so he has an army. He has a dragon. So are you saying it's yeah. going to be a hostile takeover? Oh, it's going to be internal fighting. Like th that foreword that um that Nita already read about, you know, what was it they said about the house of dragon itself? Like to take itself down. Yeah. That part. Yes. That's it's, that's what happened. Like the, the end of fighting and stuff too. So that they're gonna it's gonna be Targaryen. All right. Targaryen. So my question is this, Tiff and Nita. Mm -hmm. The queen that what never was and her husband, who, what side are they gonna take? That's a good question. Mm. That's a good question. I'm not sure. I feel like um. Well, you know what? If she's been passed over a few times, you know, when yeah. she side with when she side with Damon, you know, if she's been passed over, we we have to see. We we'll have to see. But it wasn't her. I I would hope that she would stand with Rhaenyra. Just on that's what I'm thinking. So I'm what, thinking, and that's what I'm thinking too. I think she's gonna stand with her just because she. A woman in charge, even right. though she, it's not her, and they didn't right. pick her. I feel like they should do that, but yeah. what she can't have no babies. I, I thought she had kids, yeah, but she don't got no, it seemed like everybody got daughters. Oh, yeah, that's possible. Mm -hmm. I'm not quite mm -hmm. sure how to rewatch for that one, yeah. That's I, why, I, you, that's I mean, why David thought he was up next. That's why David thought he was up next <laughs> after yeah. the baby died. Right, right. And did y'all notice that when Viserys sat back in the throne, he cut his finger and it was blood running on the throne chair. So mm -hmm. that felt like some kind of foretelling, foreshadowing or something. They might like put that. poison all around that shit. Yeah, they could. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Because I'm, I, I, they probably, you can't tell me if you like the hand of the king or anybody that's 
going up there, he's not the only one that got cut by them swords. Right. That's right. what I'm saying. So whoever got cut by that sword said, hmm, this is a good idea to put some poison on this. And then I can become king of the throne. Yeah. I mean, I don't say that. I don't think it's Damon. I feel like it's who I feel like it's um Otto because he's stirring the pot. He's already got everything brewing. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, so Viserys is actually down in the chambers, of course, because that whole big blow up with Damon and he's like naming another heir. So he gets Rainier downstairs. She's upset because he started talking to her. She was like, hold up. You ain't even talked to me since the funeral. So she's like in her feelings. He was like, just hold on, hold on. You know, let's, I got to talk to you. So he goes into, and he's like urgently asking her, talking about, look at the skull of the dragon. What do you see? And she tells him what she sees. And she said, I see us. They say Targaryens are closer to gods than men. But they say that just because of our dragons. Without them, we're just like everyone else. And then Viserys says the idea that we control dragons is an illusion. Um, they are a power that man should have never trifle with. One that brought Valyria to its doom. So we're getting little Easter eggs dropped or whatever. Mm -hmm. if we don't mind our histories. Mm -hmm. it, we, it will do the same to us. So he's like schooling her. He's telling her some things. He also told her about this Targaryen secret, about these dragon dreams. Like remember how Daenerys used to always have these visions and dreams and stuff like that. And um, he said, um, every Targaryen must know this become, before becoming king or queen. And now her ears perked up. She was like, oh, okay. And then he apologized. Mm -hmm. Daily, Sorry that I wasted so many years wanting a son. You are the very best of your mother. And then we cut the scene and we see Rainier getting dressed and Allison is getting her all in her garb. You see, she looks so good. I was like, then we start to see a ceremony. And we see all the lords bending a knee, pledging fealty to Rhaenyra. And um, yeah, and he was just saying that, you know, riding a dragon, you think that's dangerous? The most dangerous seat in the realm is the Iron Throne. Mm. So it was, I was like, and we know that. That's yes. a fact, though. And we he, know he's, that. He's, he's, he's giving all a fair warning. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And then we mm -hmm. see all of the. We saw. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. It's like it's like it puts a target on your back. Uh, mm -hmm. It just puts a target on your back. Mm -hmm. So then we, you know, mm -hmm. we hear all mm -hmm. the different houses. We hear High Town. We hear Baratheon. We hear um, I can't think of uh, Lord Cor Corliss. I can't think of his last name. We hear Baratheon, and everybody's bending the knee. Then we cut to Damon, and he's with his dragon, Seraxis, red, long neck. It looks like it has the same spirit and energy to match Damon. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, notice that. And um, it says, history tells us that Aegon was ambitious and he wanted to conquer. But no, it was a dragon dream that pre predicted the doom of Valyria. He left because of that. Now there's another dream, a winter gusting from the north. And you have to like, you know, get the realm a targaryen must be on the throne to be able to be strong enough to hold the realm together to fight against the north well you know the white wall that's what he meant and then of course he drops um aegon's dream is called a song of ice and fire <laughs> and damon takes off in seraxes and viserys names rainier heir to the iron throne cut the black and then the dragon roars so that is it, but let's go ahead and let's talk about that last thing. Like I said, we talked a little bit about it earlier, and I was saying how touching it was and how um, it just felt so powerful in that moment of how that kind of actually played out and how they kept doing the cuts back and forth. And I thought they did a really good job with it. But uh, Tiffany, what you think? I thought it ended on a strong note. I'm looking forward to seeing where they're going with this with the story and. Um, yeah, I'm just excited that it's back on our screens. Right, right. What about you? I like the fact that she's in charge. I like the way they did her little, I guess, crowning ceremony, because that's what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. But I just want to see mm -hmm. what Damon's reaction is going to be and what he's going to do 
how is he going to make this this work for him? I want to see that. But you know what? I mean, if they were going to get together, I was going to say that's the conflict. He's that's going to be the conflict. He's going to start grooming her. Watch. But he's going to be coming to her having little talks. If they get married, that's they're they're going to be, gonna be the conflict. This king and queen, right? So he still gets like, where's the conflict? Like, if, he still wants to be in charge. And yeah, but I won't let it go down. Though. I'm telling you, okay. and they gonna be going back and forth. Okay. Yeah, she's that's gonna, gonna be a in charge. She's that. not gonna let it go down. They gonna be going back and forth. Okay. There's gonna be right. There's gonna be a conflict with them, and there's gonna be a conflict with her and Allison. Right. Like you know, they're they're tight now, but I don't think it's gonna remain that way because once the families start fighting and stuff like that, and then plus, and if she marries her dad. If if her best friend marries yes, her dad, that's, that's where the conflict is going to be. The trailer is very possible, too. When I saw the trailer for the season, I was like, ooh, it looks like Allison She's going to end up marrying the dad. Might marry. She's wow. going to... Yeah. Ooh, yeah, I think ooh. that's coming. She's going to... Yes. Yes. Ooh, it's like hot sauce right now burning my mouth. She's going to marry the dad. She's going to get pissed <laughs> off and marry the, bro and marry the Damon. He's gonna manipulate her. Mm. I can see that. I definitely can see it. But you know, I don't think it's mm -hmm. enough time. Well, the friendship, the friendship between she and Allison is gonna be affected by well, that. It's gonna be all right now. Today. It's gonna be all right now, and maybe because she's still young, and Damien not gonna touch her now because she's he's like no, he's into the brothels and all of that other stuff right now. He's not gonna mess with her innocence. He gonna let, it's gonna it, it, either it's gonna be a time jump and and that's when the division is gonna happen when she gets older. But as far as as um uh, things are gonna change once her best friend if her best friend marries her dad. Yeah, I mean, I, and the father is orchestrating all of that. Right, right. I can see him uh, moving moving that along faster because, like I said, I feel like he's almost on his deathbed to me like it feels like he he's not gonna last too much longer so i don't know how long we're gonna build this out that we're even gonna be mm -hmm. able to have a marriage even if she becomes his wife she's not gonna be heir to the throne they already made well, that decision right right unless she she's gonna to fight it i think she's gonna fight it because at the end of the day i think it's gonna be between allison and rainier yeah i, I think so too yeah I, I think yeah, I think if she does die, she would be, but you know, just because of death, yes, she would be. Because right. think about that when when um when what's the call died. As long as there's not a, another male heir, like when when Robert Baratheon died, mm -hmm. it went to Joffrey, and then when Joffrey died, it was you know the brother, the younger younger son, and then and when he died, then it was Cersei. Right. Right. All right, ladies, this was great. I would mm -hmm. like to know, I would like to know before we get out of here, um, what you rate it? What you rate the episode from one to 10? Mm, one from one to 10? Yeah. I don't want to give it too high of a rating because I want to see what's in store for us. Right. So, so I, 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 I want to give it an 8.5. Oh, well, I, I would say between, between a seven and eight because as I was saying to... Um, to uh, Nita offline, I like. I, I think this was a solid episode. The it first was. part of it, first part of it was slower for me though. I feel like the second half was much stronger. Right. Okay. So that's so that's why I say that. You know, because I and and it, like I said, it was still solid. I'm I'm pleased with the episode, right. but I feel like the first half was just a little slower, and I understand why because you gotta set set things up. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta set people gotta up learn, so you know, you gotta learn stuff like that. Are. Right. Yeah, we gotta learn who they are so we can be invested on why we care about these people and find out what the stakes are and everything. Right. So I, I understand that. So, but I do feel like the second half was like, you know, for yeah. me. So yeah. I, I would give it either a, a seven or eight. It's always good to end strong. Okay. Yeah, you know why I say I give it an eight point five because it has some of everything in it. This episode. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It has some of everything. You had, you had the drama. Like I said in the beginning when I brought it up, you had the drama. You had a battle scene. 
You had the whole thing. You had the dragons. The you had them fighting over the throne already in the first episode of right. who's going to be next in charge. Yes. And then we're starting to see who's the S starts, starters. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So <laughs> we're starting to see. I, I, that's why I give it an 8.5. We see who's stirring the pot. We see who's the menace. I, I, I I, I, I'm not, I don't even have no, it. It's solid. It's definitely solid. And listen, I've missed Game of Thrones being on my screen and everything. I I was happy to see us back in Westeros and seeing the Red Keep way back then <laughs> before it was Cersei's, uh, you know, stomping ground and stuff. So, um, yeah, I was happy to see it and everything. And I'm happy to see where, you know, how it moves forward. But, you know, absolutely. I'm right with Moochie. I'm at an 8.5. I'm at an 8.5 with it. Okay, I don't feel bad now. I don't feel like yeah, I, actually, I actually I actually wanted to give it a nine, but I said I'm gonna go, okay, I'm gonna temper it down just a little bit. Just because like I said, we didn't get that whole little cliffhanger that was right at the end. Yeah. Right. right. Like right. I agree with you with that, but we got who's it we got I feel like we got that and we got a uh how can I say a tidbit of what's in store for us. Yes. Oh yeah, definitely. definitely. I'm looking forward to seeing you know what's more to come you know and when i saw the trailers and what's happening this season i was like okay they're setting it up nicely does anybody have a favorite character so far the girl that's sitting standing behind you you're there yeah yeah i, her I, like, her. I like her already yeah. i like her already because like i said she's a combination between aria and Daenerys. i yeah. think we gonna see her kick some ass yeah, I I, I, yeah. I just know it. Like, I like her already. Yeah, and, and, and I don't know if she's gonna be a fighter like Arya, but I feel like she's gonna be like Daenerys, but she's not taking no mess yeah, from bro. nobody. I, I feel like yeah, I feel like she's bold though, because the fact that she at such a young age was able to step up and um, you know, order the dragon to do the uh, you know, to carry on the the burial mm -hmm. ceremony and stuff. I was like, okay, so she's so she's tough. Yeah. Strong. She's tough and she's, she's confident, confident, yeah, you know, and stuff. So, I um, I like her character already, and um, it remains to be seen. I want to, I want to see more because I want to know, like, um, the situation with Damon. Everybody is against Damon, like, is he like the Jon Snow character, like how Jon Snow was the misfit? You know, is, is it deserved? Right. Does he deserve to be the misfit, you know, <laughs> or is he just an outcast? So I, I want to see more about his character to see, yeah. you know, like is you know should everybody be concerned about him being on it on it? They or are they afraid of him being on the throne because they can't control him like they can control Viserys? So I want to I want to see more of Damon's character too. Yeah. yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Well, this was a good discussion, ladies. It was. It was. Had a lot of fun. Had a lot. I of did. I had fun too, y'all. <laughs> I was. So I, I, I have fun too. I think this is really. Um, I'm just looking forward to seeing the next episode. Me too. Me too. I, I, I'm, I want to look at the trailer. I want to pick it apart. Yeah. Uh, it's just like so much that I want to do with this, and um, I'm looking forward to doing this next week with y'all. Okay. Yeah, yeah. and I'm gonna watch it again. I, I hope Miss K could join us. Yes, I want to watch it again, and I want to. Um, and watch now I'm gonna get the book so I can do something on audio and listen to it and and. I just mm -hmm. want to have a lot more input to put it. Me too. It. That's why I want to see the inside of the episode because that's one thing I did appreciate when I watched Game of Thrones. I look forward to hearing from the the writer's perspective about yeah. you know scenes and characters and things like that. So I definitely you want to go back and watch and catch inside the episode. Yes, I am. I'm going to do Me that. Me too. I still got to take notes because I want to be on point next week. All right. And remember, you guys, we have a panel coming up, a live panel, where you can get in on the discussion with us so that's friday at 10 o'clock on my channel and it'll be me moochie miss k um tiffany is very welcome to join us we'll see and i think brillo brillo is coming as well so yeah so it's gonna be a full house and we're gonna get together and pick it apart and get your guys opinions and do all of the things that we do on friday night so i mean because <laughs> yeah. you know, we done went from game of thrones to this so yeah. we ended it with the red wedding so let's Let's go oh, on. The red wedding is tough, man. Wow. Yeah, we tough. ended it with that. Yeah. And so we're jumping right back, right into this. So we were doing this to kind of gear ourselves up and get people back into Game of Thrones so they can be excited for House of the Dragon. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do well because I love seeing us talk about it 
know? Yes, yes. Definitely, definitely. Okay. Yeah, I'm excited to talk about it with y'all, though, like I said, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's been fun, you guys. Don't forget to um, subscribe and check out the spot, Real Talk with Tiffany. And then Mochilla Reviews, make sure you subscribe to her as well. And we'll see you back next week. All right? All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs>